Hey guys, um, it's been a long time since I've made a YouTube video and a lot of that was because I was just struggling with feeling in flow, feeling like I, like what am I, what am I gonna talk about? What do I want, what's the message that I want to share with you all? So I've been doing a lot of self-reflection and I finally feel like I know what my message is that I want to share with you all and so I am creating a whole empowerment series that's going to have videos that are going to help you feel empowered in your life um, and help you take back your power so that you can create a life by design instead of a life by default. So I cannot wait to share a bunch of valuable content with you all. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. And if you have any suggestions on topics you would like me to discuss um, or different things, ways that you would like help feeling empowered in your own life, please leave that in the comments below that would help me out so much so let's get into what I want to talk about today and what I want to talk about today is I just kind of want to share with you how I got into powerlifting my first powerlifting um, competition experience and kind of what set me on this journey of creating a mindset of being empowered and um, not being a victim to my circumstance. So I started powerlifting in 2014, uh, June of 2014. So uh, this, this month makes four years exactly that I started training for powerlifting. So my first competition was in October of 2014. And so I had been training for you know five months four or five months I just tried to do the math right there um, so I had been training for you know a, not not too long but prior to powerlifting I trained like bodybuilding style in the gym so I was relatively strong when I came into powerlifting it was really just learning like the technique learning um, what the commands were all that sort of stuff so I had a pretty solid base when I when I started powerlifting um, but what I realized was I did not have the mindset um, in terms of dealing with the heavy weight like I just my technique would just shift anytime the weight got heavy so that was definitely something I struggled with um, when I first started powerlifting was just that consistency of my lifts across the board like I don't know if you struggle with this as well but um, when I first started powerlifting it was like I always had this like mental block at certain numbers um, where like once I got to that number it was like my technique just plummeted and it took me a while to overcome that but anyways that's not the point of this video but um, that was definitely something I struggled with when I started powerlifting. Um, but my first competition, like I said, was in October. And um, my first, so, you know, in, in a powerlifting competition, it's squat, bench, and deadlift. So first time ever on a platform. And, you know, I don't really know what's, what's going on. Um, you know my coaches had helped you know taught me the commands and everything but other than that I wasn't really sure of all of like the little technical rules so I was up for my third squat and it was 341 pounds on the bar and I get underneath the bar and I walk it out and I'm like adjusting my shoulders like that's the other thing I didn't have like a setup like I was, like I said, my whole setup was like, once the bar got heavy, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So I never had that much weight on my back. So I was walking it out and I'm trying to adjust it while I'm like standing out of the rack, mind you, with 341 pounds on the bar. And I'm trying to adjust my shoulders and the bar falls to the ground. 
341 pounds just falls to the ground. And so I'm like, well, I'm done. And I just like start walking off the platform. Well, I find this out later, but my coach, my former coach, Tony Harris was like, okay guys, come on, we gotta pick this bar up. And like four guys picked up 341 pounds and put it back on the rack. Now, normally they would have to strip the bar and put the bar back on. And the head referee had not said the squat command. So because the head referee never said squat, I still had the time on the clock to complete the squat. So I'm walking off of the platform and my good friend and other former coach, Leo Richardson, she was the side referee at the time and she looks at me and says, 17 seconds. And I literally did not even think twice. I turned around, went back, went underneath that bar, walked it out, and squatted it like it was my opener. Like, how does that happen in your first meet? And it's so funny because Leo tells me all the time, like, that's when she knew that I was different in that way in terms of my mindset. And I think that that's really where I started to see that no matter what, I was always going to give it, like I, I'm never gonna quit. I'm never gonna quit on anything. And that's been something, that's been something that's been true my entire life. Like I, when I say I'm gonna do something, I always do it, I always follow through with it. And I think that's why I never thought twice. It was like, okay, I get another chance. Why wouldn't I take that opportunity? And I never realized until like recently how rare that unbreakable mindset is. Like so often when challenges like that hit us on the platform, you know, we miss an attempt or the bars misloaded or something happens and it just completely gets in our mind and throws us off. And what I think is so important and so crucial is to train your mind just as hard as you train your body because that's really where that advantage comes from is if you're able to, instead of missing an attempt and then letting that just break everything else down, even in your training, you know, if like you miss a number that you're supposed to be hitting, if you're able to go back and look and say, okay, analyze the situation, that's where you're gonna make the most growth. Instead of getting stuck in your mind and having that sort of like victim mentality, like, oh, I can't do it, I'm not strong enough, blah, 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 blah. Believe in yourself and be like, I fucking got this. Let me see what I can fix. Let me see what I can change. What modifications I can make so that I can nail it the next time. And if you're able to do that, I promise you, you will be so much more successful than if you just keep on hitting the gym and trying to train just your exterior. Ask yourself, like, think about what, what goes on in your mind when shit's not going right in the gym. Are you taking ownership over that or are you like playing the victim? I challenge you to take ownership and be like, okay, what can I do in this situation to either be stronger mentally, change my mindset and believe in myself? or fix my technique and set myself up in a better position to execute the lift. That's where the change happens, guys. It always is, and this is why I started life coaching, because it never is the changes that we make on the outside. It never is. If you've been trying to make changes for a long time in your life and you've been struggling Maybe you're making the wrong changes. Maybe you're focusing too much on the exterior and not enough 
on what's going on in here and in here. Because that is where lasting change, lasting strength comes from. So I hope you feel more empowered after this video to take ownership in your training and in your mindset in your training. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and follow me on Insta because that's where I like to hang out the most. All right, guys. Have a great night. Bye.